Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Trackmaster Hyperglow Night Delivery. Here's a look at the box. Now, I have always been a fan of the Glow in the Dark sets, mostly because of Halloween. That's why I have that creepy intro at the start, and I just love them all the way back from the very first ones to today. So I was excited when I saw that this was at my local store. Now, let's take a look at how they glow. The engines on these glow much better than the old ones. I mean, look at this. It's just beautiful. Thomas has so much detail, too, that really shines through with the glow-in-the-dark details. And it really shows on this model. The truck's really nice, too. It has nice glow-in-the-dark features. I like that face in the dark, too. And the wheels also glow. Here's the crates. They glow as well. The engine itself has a lot of detail, even without the glowing details. You'll notice all of these wonderful prints on the side, including those cranes in the background. And the print over here on the left looks like uh, a print from the 80s or 90s. The back's plain, but that's okay. And here's the other side. It's just a mirrored version of the other. I love this smart detail on the cab. The truck's really cool, too, especially that face. I like how they're doing stickers for rolling stock now. It looks more uh, three-dimensional than the actual faces on some models. You notice the little edges there, I don't like that too much, um, but that's for the play feature as well as that uh, notch on the left there too. And then the back is lower than the front, but that's also part of the play feature, so I can't question that too much. This cranky is actually the same cranky that came in the diesel working hard set, and you'll notice the track there's the old Trackmaster track that's been modified for Trackmaster 2. Anyway, let's take a look at this set setup. So you notice it's actually a rather big set, and it's a figure 8 set basically. Larger than the cave-in collapse set, which surprised me. Now let's start this up. First you have to put Thomas under the bridge before you start the play process. Um, and that's so that you can get everything set up. You put the crates in the loader, like so, and then you'll see from the top there too that I, do, I showed it from the top. And then you have to wind Cranky up. Now this is a really cool play feature, much better than Demolition at the Dock set, if, in my opinion. you notice that Thomas actually knocks the crate into the troublesome truck below. I love that so much. And then from there, he goes to Cranky, who picks it up and throws it into another platform. I love that. This is classic train play. Now, this is the set with a blue light on it, and I want to say I love this set. The way that it's set up, you know, you're moving cargo from one place to another. I love that. That is classic train play, and it's something that's missing from a lot of the Trackmaster 2 sets. You know, back in the day, uh, Wooden Railway was known for the accessories. Uh, Take and Play was known for the detailed engines. Uh, at the time it was called Take Along. And then the uh, Play Rail, our Trackmaster as it's known now, was all about action. You know, the trains moved. They moved cargo from one place to another. That was what was so cool about it. And to see a set like this that actually capitalizes on that movement of traffic back and forth, it's, it's really fun and it's interesting. And it's something that we don't see enough of, in my opinion. If I had to give this set a rating out of 10, I would have to give it an 8. The detail on it's nice, I love how they reuse the cranky, and just the fun in this set is amazing. Now you'll notice that this is uh, a view of the set without any of the lights, and it's still really, really cool. But anyway guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye!